Welcome back to Sportsbook Review Videos. We are more than 10 games in to the NBA season for almost every team now, and it is time to take a look at some updated Eastern and Western Conference Championship odds here from Bet365 Sportsbook. Now, the Eastern Conference Championship odds here, where we're going to start out here on the future odds update, not a whole lot of movement here for some of these teams. We have seen a little bit here, uh, starting with, of course, the Cleveland Cavaliers, though, who have seen zero movement, still minus 200 to win the Eastern Conference this season, which is where they were earlier to start the year. Now, Cavs have been playing outstanding here so far really to start the season and that's been without Kyrie Irving who's reportedly probably within the next two to four weeks away from making his return to the court and obviously there was a lot of chatter last season in that the Cavs probably would have won the championship if he would have remained healthy I'm not on that camp however a year uh, uh, a year improved for this team here with getting Kyrie back and now not really having to deal with uh, a team that was thrown together all throughout last season I think the Cleveland Cavaliers here are probably still definitely the class of the Eastern Conference obviously and uh, even at minus 200 might not be a bad wager at all with uh, the way the rest of the East is looking here. The rest of the East starts out with the Chicago Bulls at plus 650. They're just slightly improved from where they were in the offseason, but obviously an injury to Derrick Rose here after sprained ankle. He's going to be out for a couple of games. Uh, has really kind of hurt their, uh, their upside. They do, I think, have a lot of it, though, and could close the gap between them and the Cleveland Cavaliers by the time we get to season's end, but wouldn't expect them to be much higher than plus 350, maybe 4-1 to one here uh, once we get towards the end of the season. Probably not a whole lot of value left to be had here at that point in the season, but if you do like the Chicago Bulls as a potential team to upset the Cleveland Cavaliers, not a bad price here at plus 650. Next up is the Atlanta Hawks, another steep drop off from them, uh, down to 9-1. to one. As they were up a little bit higher than this to begin the season, but have uh, have, have seen their odds lengthen just a little bit uh, because of the uh, loss of Demar Carroll, I think, really affecting them. They have looked up and down at times this season, but still the Hawks, I think, a dangerous team just trying to figure out their identity now, and I think also uh, really trying to decide whether or not they were a one-hit wonder last season or not. Now, next up is the Miami Heat, a team that has looked also pretty good this season at 12-1, to but, you know, not quite as good as I think you'd expect them to uh, really, you know, take over as the third overall seed in the Eastern Conference in the in regards to the future odds, as well as a team potentially that could beat either Chicago or uh, Cleveland in that aspect. I really like their depth. I like how they've been playing on defense as well. I think it remains to be seen whether or not there could be considered an East contender this season, but at 12 to 1, the price is definitely there, I think, for you to take a stab at if you're looking at a long shot wager for a potential team to be, uh, uh, beat out the Cavaliers. And finally, the uh, Excuse me, the Toronto Raptors come in at 15 to 1 plus 1500 to win the Eastern Conference this season. They also have been looking a lot better. They stole Damari Carroll, obviously, away from Atlanta. Kind of turned around as one of the better teams in the Eastern Conference here so far this season. But a little, still a little bit concerned, I think, about some of the problems they've been having this season on the defensive end. And I think even though they've been good, I'm not quite sure that they are good enough to upset some of the top tier teams in the Eastern Conference in a playoff series here. But it remains to be seen still very early. But this, these are the updates we've seen here through the first 10, 12 games of the season. And the Raptors have definitely seen their odds uh, shorten just a little bit here. But that'll do it for your Eastern Conference future odds update. Make sure you check out my Western Conference future odds update as well. But until then, Fort Sportsbook Review, I'm Jordan Sharp.